Hello and welcome to Megger's Technical Support Videos, where today we will be discussing how to run an overall power factor test using temperature correction factor tables. It is important to note that when using temperature correction during a power factor test, at least four pieces of information are necessary. The year the transformer was manufactured, the oil temperature during the test, the voltages of the transformer, so say we have a 12 kV primary to a 480 volt secondary. If we scroll down to the power factor table, you can see we still do not have a, a temperature correction factor. The final piece of information is the power rating of the transformer. Once all input, we have our correction factor of 0.95. The reason the temperature of the oil is so important is if we were to change that just by 3 degrees, we went from 0 0.95 to 0 0.935. So it's very important to take the correct oil temperature. You also have the option to overwrite these values. For instance, if you wanted to overwrite the value for all, you could input the value down here, of maybe 0 0.8. And now all of our correction factors have been corrected to what we want. Also, if you wish, you cannot just overwrite the value, but you could overwrite the table. Instead of using this table of correction factors, we can go through and choose table 17, for instance. OK. And now it has corrected our temperature correction factor for that table. To run the test, you come over to the test number and press the test number that you wish to perform. Since we have multiple tests selected here, we will be able, by clicking test number one, one, two, and three will all be ran. And if we want to check our connections before running the test, we can click high side, which are the three tests combined. The connection is the same. We can see our high voltage being applied to the high voltage windings, which are all shorted, and the measurement on the low voltage windings, which are shorted to each other as well, and ground to the tank ground. Now that we have confirmed our connections, we can start the test. We click number one, we can see our test mode, our test suppression method, our frequency, and our voltage. And if we didn't want to see our hookup illustration, we can check it again. Here we have start. And there are three conditions for the test to start. One, two of them are interlocks that must be depressed before and during the test. If the interlock is interrupted, the test will be interrupted. The other is the ground loop. This checks that there is no open ground loop, that all the grounds are common. If all three of these conditions are met, we can go forward with the test. Since we don't have that, we will go forward with simulation mode. Now the tests are being performed. We get our power factor percentage, our current, our capacitance, and our watt loss as well. If we close this, we can see that the table is filled out, and we have the ability to save this test as well. Going down, if we were to deselect multiple tests now, we would now perform individual tests. So instead of pressing test number 5, which would perform 5, 6, and 7, now it would solely perform test 5. And you can see that here, one single test. So we can start this. Again, with simulation mode, it will perform the test, take the measurements, and fill out the one line and give our option to save. Thank you for watching this installment of Megger's technical support videos and tune into some of our other videos for more information.